back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Dina. Today I wanted to talk about five things that you should be doing if you are currently working from home. And a lot of people out there already work from home, but right now there's a lot of people that are now working from home that perhaps didn't before and they're trying to, you know, get used to it and learn that balance and everything. Um, so these are helpful tips if you are someone who's working from home. Honestly, I think everyone should be doing these things. These are good for your health, your mental health, all of the above, honestly. The first thing that you should be doing if you're working from home is to stretch and move. A lot of us have a tendency to just, you know, sit at our desk all day and we don't move at all and it's honestly so bad for your body. There's certain stretches that you can do that can actually really, really benefit you if you are a desk worker. You can actually do these like in between work if you just need to you know get up and stretch for like a minute or if you feel like you can't do that during the day then these are things that you can do at the end of the day after you're done your work so the first one that you could do is called downward dog this is a very popular yoga pose and it's really really good for your body because it helps to strengthen and lengthen the muscles it also reduces tension in the shoulders and relaxes the neck and it lets more blood flow to your brain. And it's very important to get the blood flow going to your brain because when you're sitting at a desk all day and you're using your brain but you're not moving around, it's not good for you and getting that blood flowing again is very, very healthy. This position also is really good for your wrists and your hands. And when you're sitting at the computer and you're typing all day, it can be very tiring and hard on your body and not hard on your hands. So that is really good. And another thing you can do is honestly just wrist exercises. Another one that you can do that's really easy is standing forward fold. Honestly, so healthy for your body. Um, again, you're getting that blood flow to your brain because you're bent over. This is also a really, really good pose for release. It's really good for if you have any sort of stress or anxiety and some people have more built up anxiety from sitting at a desk for so long so this can be a very helpful pose one of my all-time favorites I don't know why it's just like it feels so good especially after sitting all day is cat cow pose honestly it's so good for your back and your spine it's amazing for anxiety stress it's a good really good headache reliever as well when we sit at the desk all day working it can actually have um, negative side effects on your back and your spine over time. So doing this is actually so healthy and so good for your spine. So I would highly recommend it. And believe me, if you give it a try, you're going to want to do it every day. Like I, even if it's not in the yoga routine that I'm doing, because I usually follow yoga um, routines on YouTube. Um, if you haven't heard of her, Yoga with Adrienne, honestly, where it's at. I love her yoga videos, so I always do that. But if she doesn't have a cat cow in the video that I'm watching that day, I just throw it in anyways because it honestly feels so good. Another one that feels really good is Cobra or Upward Dog. Also fantastic for your spine, a great stretch. Another stretch that's really important is anything, honestly, any stretch that's really good for your hips because your hips can get very tight when sitting at a desk for long periods of time. Um, half Pigeon is a really good one that you can do. Also, you can also do an extended um, like child's pose. Um, I think that's what it's called. Don't quote me, I'll show you a demonstration of me doing it. Another really important one you should be doing is stretching out your neck. Neck rotations and you can even hold your neck to either side of your body um, and just slowly stretch it out. Try not to do anything too spastic and fast because you don't want to pull any muscles, but your neck often gets very stiff from working at a desk for hours on end. So definitely make sure you're stretching out your neck as well. The second thing that you should be doing if you're not already while you're working at home is get yourself some blue like protection glasses. Um, I got these on Amazon. These ones are called Firmo, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'll leave the link down in my description. Um, honestly, so helpful. I don't know if you can tell, but they have a little bit of that. You can kind of see it at an angle. They have that, like almost like a blue um, sheen to them. Is that the word? Um, when you look through them, they, everything looks a little bit warmer than real life. Um, but they're honestly so good for your eyes. Staring at a screen all day can have really, really bad detrimental effects on your eyes. It can cause headaches. I actually often got headaches from looking at a, a screen for long periods of time. That's why I consider these. Plus my eyes aren't the best already. I already have a pretty strong prescription. Um, I wear contact lenses and you know glasses on days that my contact lenses are too dry or whatever. I do want to get prescription glasses that have these too because these are only good obviously if I'm wearing my contact lenses. But honestly it makes such a big difference in working. I find they help me focus too. I don't know if it's 
an effect of the blue light or just having glasses on my face, but I find I can focus on a screen for longer periods of time a lot easier. Um, it comes, like I said, in this little box, and then it has like a little almost like satchel type thing for your glasses to keep them from getting scratched and it comes with a little um, a cloth to clean them which I feel like I need to clean them because there's definitely some smudges there but honestly so helpful I highly recommend getting them Amazon actually has a really large variety of blue light protection glasses on there so if you don't like the metal style that I just showed you they have like the more plasticky frames as well um, they have a lot of different frames and they aren't super expensive I think these ones were 35 um, they were one of the more expensive of pairs a lot of them are like around 20 bucks 24 bucks so lots of options for you but yeah if you are always working on the computer I highly recommend getting these to protect your eyes number three and a very important thing that you need to do if you're working from home is create a designated workspace doing this is really important to train your brain when it is time to work and it is when it's time to have more personal relaxation time for example if you're working from your bed your brain's gonna have a really hard time understanding when it's time to work and when it's time to sleep. And you might find that like while you're working from your bed, you can't focus on your work very well. Or you might find that when you're going to sleep, you have a hard time going to sleep because your body's been trained to work when you're on your bed. So it's very important to do that. I've actually turned my downstairs um, dining room into my temporary office while I've been working at home. Um, so all like my the computer, everything's down there right now. And um, we don't use the dining room anyways unless we have company and clearly there's no company right now so my parents didn't really care too much so that is my home office right now and as soon as I leave that room then uh, the work is done and I'm doing my thing I'm having my own personal life so it's really it's really important to get that you know work-life balance going in your home environment number four I highly recommend creating designated work hours um, if you're just working randomly throughout the day and I mean sometimes that works for people so I like who am I to judge but I think having like a consistent schedule is honestly easier to um, get into and easier to adapt to than having a schedule that's all over the place it also makes it easier for you to go to sleep at a certain time at night and wake up at a certain time and it's just better for your body to have some sort of consistency and routine and at the end of the day it's nice to know when like for example for me like five o'clock hits I know that that means work is done and I can you know do my other things that I need to do I can get my dinner ready I can do my yoga I can it's me time right so it's really important to have those designated work hours number five and I feel like a lot of us don't do enough of this because maybe we get distracted by what we are doing but it's hydrating um, I drink a lot of water but I have to say I do find myself getting distracted in my work and I often forget to drink my water while I'm working so make sure you have a big water bottle on your desk while you're working anyways guys those are five things that you should be doing if you're working from home I hope these tips helped you if you have any other ideas that I did not mention make sure you comment them below I'd love to hear what you have to say and maybe they'll even help me even more so honestly I would love to hear your ideas if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up I would honestly really really appreciate it and also subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification to let you know when I have uploaded a new video I hope you guys are having a really great day and I'll see you next time take care guys bye bye